um, a defining moment that I wish to uh, talk about would would actually be one of uh, four prominent uh, defining moments that have impacted uh, my my life um, and um, to the point that uh, they have been etched or engraved into my mind and my heart. Uh, so even if I tried to forget them, uh, <laughs> it's impossible. So maybe, perhaps that's the uh, uh, the nature of defining moments, you know. So um, another thing that, uh, with regard to uh, this particular defining moment uh, is the fact that <clears throat> I uh, not only has it been engraved in my mind, but uh, it's been uh, engraved uh, on my body uh, in the form of scars, which I would like to show uh, and show you. And so these, uh, and then I'll, I'll explain. So if I uh, if I can, um, pretty much there, over there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that, that scar there, right? It's that scar actually is part of the scars that go all the way uh, up to here, up to my hip, um, and that was a, as a result of the uh, the incident. And um, uh, those scars, <clears throat> those scars actually remind me of that moment, and and that's how I see scars now. Uh, I guess most of uh, the scars that we have uh, are reminders of a trauma, uh, but in this case, uh, it also remind, reminds me of that close encounter with eternity, uh, and uh, reminds me also of crucial of a crucial moment that uh, led me towards my real encounter later on, six months later, uh, with uh, with with God the Father. Amen. With Jesus, so um, so here we go. A two-hour ordeal packed into, hopefully packed into two to five minutes. Um, so uh, the incident very quickly. Uh, so if you can imagine, uh, minus ten to minus forty degrees Celsius, um, and uh, winds up to uh, one hundred and two hundred um, kilometers per hour. Uh, for days, but not all the time, um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah. Uh, but on this uh, particular, uh, this particular day, um, it was actually calm. But uh, remembering that uh, the weather down uh, Antarctica is uh, very un unpredictable, so it could happen at any moment. So uh, the uh, the accident. Accident was to describe it as uh, was a um, seven-ton uh, D6 runaway bulldozer with my leg, uh, my leg, that leg, uh, caught in um, in the uh, tracks of the vehicle as the vehicle was still in motion, and so here's the tracks going around and on and going above that uh, the tracks was a step by, and so my leg was caught in between there very quickly. Uh, to, to describe it very quickly, my leg was caught in there and, and I was uh, uh, on the tracks while the vehicle was still moving. So, uh, um, and uh, that uh, vehicle, uh, the direction of that vehicle was actually uh, um, Ross, the Ross Sea and McMurdo Base was close to the Antarctic um, coastline. And so you had ice, and, and the, which was where we were, and then the sea. So the direction of that bulldozer was heading towards the Antarctic Ocean. So um, to decide real, real quick uh, whether I was going to just uh, let the vehicle continue on out to sea, or which obviously not, uh, or do something about it. And so, and I wasn't a Christian then, so. Uh, I uh, at that I I uh, was able to with all the strength that I had left inside me I was able to grab a hold of the handlebar going onto the cab uh, and lift myself up and then with the other hand push the lever the clutch lever for the bulldozer so that the bulldozer would uh, 
came into neutral and eventually um, stopped. Um, and uh, and all the while, while I was trying to do that, I was getting you know knocked around by the movement of the of the vehicle. So um, the the dozer slowly uh, came to a halt, and I and I slowly uh, faded into unconsciousness. Uh, so, uh, in other words, I was blacking out. <laughs> Probably, oh, I don't know how many times I did that. Uh, but one one time when I did gain consciousness, I was actually lying uh, on the tracks, obviously, and then uh, I was actually facing upwards into to the sky. And no one had found me at that point in time. Um, and I remember very clearly, I, I remember yelling out up into the sky and... Uh, my defining point was that was I going to be yelling, why did you do this to me? Or was I going, which I did, uh, or did I yell, um, I don't want to die. I don't want to die, not yet. <laughs> well, I don't want to die. And um, I wasn't uh, saying it at the, in that uh, calm voice. I was yelling. <laughs> uh, so, um, anyways, yeah, so today, uh, those uh, scars that I have, uh, they are a, a reminder of that ordeal, but uh, more importantly, they're a reminder uh, that uh, God, I believe God heard me because I think it would have been six months uh, later that I... Uh, came back home and I gave my heart to the Lord. Other things happened that uh, when I was in hospital, I had time to think about it and and God was moving graciously. So uh, that's my uh, defining moment uh, uh, that I wish to share with you. Amen. God bless.